What is the difference between bird and lizard hip dinosaurs? Welcome to the Natural History of Dinosaurs. My name is Benjamin Berger. I'm a paleontologist um, at Utah State University, uh, teaching in the heart of Utah's dinosaur country in Vernal. In this video, you'll learn how to distinguish the two major groups of dinosaurs. The bird hip dinosaurs, called the Ornithischians, and the lizard hip dinosaurs, called the Saurischians. Ornithischians and Saurischians both lived throughout the Mesozoic. The great division of dinosaurs was coined by the English paleontologist Harry Seeley in 1887. Now he presented his research at the Royal Society in London in January of 1887, and he argued that Dinosauria, as named by Richard Owen, was in fact two different groups. Now Richard Owen had retired, and this new view of two groups, the Ornithischians and the Saurischians, was a radical revision. Now today we regard these two dinosaur groups as originating near the base of a single grouping of Dinosauria. But these two groups are still recognized today by their unique anatomy of their hip bones. All right, let's see what Seeley saw in the hip bones of dinosaurs. This here is a Saurischian hip. You'll note that the pubis bone projects forward so that the three bones form a sort of triangle. Now when you see a mounted dinosaur uh, in a museum, a Saurischian, you'll often find this bone between the legs projecting forward. And, and no, 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 this is not a penis bone. In life, it supported abdominal muscles of the belly and a set of muscles called the pubo-ischiofemoris externus muscle, which when contracted would pull the femur forward and was very useful for running to counterbalance those, those in the opposite direction, those large caudal femoris muscles that attach to the fourth trochanter and caudal vertebrae. So it's kind of like a big swing of that femur going back and forth there. Now this is an ornithischian hip. You'll note that the pubis bone projects backward to lay alongside the ischium. It's also reduced. But notice that the pubis also has a projection forward, but is higher up in the animal. This results in a pocket for the iliofemoris muscle, which has been hypothesized by Alfred Romer in his classic 1927 study of hip muscles in dinosaurs to do something special. It wraps around the hip with a tendon to insert in the external head of the femur. So when the muscle contracted, the femur would kick outward or abduct away from the body like a sideways kick. Yes, Ornithischians were like Bruce Lee's of the dinosaurs. Now humans have a similar muscle called the tensor fasciolata that allows us to do sideways kicks. Ah, ha, ah, with the help of our giant gluteal muscles. Hi-ya, hi-ya, hi-ya. So this arrangement allowed the ornithischians to be able to splay out their legs and give them more flexibility beyond the rigid forward and backward movement of the femur that you see in Saurischian dinosaurs. And once they evolved, they would give them some flexibility to move their femur in relation to their body. Now during the Jurassic, a group of Saurischian dinosaurs began to move the pubis backward as well and reposition the set of muscles so that they too could kick out their legs. This was needed if you were going to climb, say, a tree. Now these new Saurischian dinosaurs gave rise to birds, and the position of the pubis in living birds resembles ornithischian hips. Now this is a great example of convergent evolution, and without the numerous fossils demonstrating this transition, we would have assumed that the, the Saurischians, the bird hip dinosaurs, gave rise to the birds. But it's not so. It was the Saurischians that gave rise to the birds. All right, the thing I want you to be able to do is to identify dinosaurs as either Saurischians or Ornithischians when shown a picture of the skeleton or hip bones. Let's try a few and see how you do. What do you think Stegosaurus is? An Ornithischian or a Saurischian? I'll give you a moment.
Stegosaurus is an ornithischian. See, the pubis and the ischium project backward. What do you think Struthiomimus is? An ornithischian or a saurischian? I'll give you a moment. Cerithiomimus is a saurischian. See the pubis is projecting forward between the legs? What do you think Datosaurus is? An ornithischian or saurischian? I'll give you a moment. Datosaurus is a saurischian. You can see the stubby pubis projects forward. Finally, let us look at Cetacosaurus. Is it a Ornithischian or Saurischian? Cetacosaurus is an Ornithischian. Good job! You should now be able to distinguish the difference between the two major groups of dinosaurs, the Ornithischians and Saurischians.